and a very warm welcome to our next part of 3D Tester technical training. Today about adjusting runout. First, I want to show you some important notifications before adjusting runout. What is very important and that's our proposal Clamp the 3D tester in a very high class collet chuck. The collet chuck is precise and the collet chuck is stable. Please be reminded the chuck is the basis of your measurement. If the chuck is not okay, your measurement can be wrong. Next important notification, use a lever type indicator. Only a lever type indicator is the correct measuring device to adjust runout. <clears throat> and use a lever type indicator with resolution 0.01 millimeters. The 3D tester has a tolerance of plus minus 0.01, so a microns level type indicator is not needed so never do not use resolution 0.01 or 0.002 no another thing is for adjusting runout never use a camera system it's impossible to adjust runout with a camera system The next important notification is, before adjusting runout, make sure that the probe tip is securely fastened. Just imagine the probe tip is not fixed and it, it, it is like, like flexible. You can never adjust correct runout. So make sure the probe tip is securely fastened. Use the key and fasten the probe tip. So now we are ready, we can adjust runout. At first, place the indicator to the ball of the probe tip. Place the lever type indicator, of course. Center the, the uh, indicator's ball to the ball of the probe tip but it's enough by visual ju judgment so it must be in the same height and in the axis so center it by your eyes by visual judgment very important is measure parallel to the axis I will show you this in the next Parallel to the axis means when you have the 3D tester like this uh, Now in this position you see it You have the axis X and Y So use the lever type indicator parallel to the axis and now you measure from this side Now start rotating the spindle by hand. Find the highest and the lowest point, like you see it here in the picture. Lowest and the highest point. Stop at the lowest point. Now start adjusting. use the the two keys which are delivered with the 3d tester one key you use on the right and one key you use on the left like you see in the picture open the right key but minimum two rounds you can see this here Then 
close the left key and with the left key you move the 3D tester and adjust to the correct position. Adjust it to the middle with the left key. When you reach the middle, close the right key and counter both screws. That's why you have two keys. Counter and tighten both screws. And by tightening, take a look to your indicator and uh, adjust it to the zero, to, to the middle. Then again, rotate the spindle. Again, find the highest and the lowest point. Stop the spindle at the lowest point. Again, start adjusting by opening opening the right key, minimum two rounds. Then close the left and move the 3D tester to the right. As you see in the picture, it moves to the right. And you do this with the left key. Adjust to the middle and after reaching the middle, close the right. And again important, tighten and, and counter both screws. But during tightening, take a look to the indicator that it keeps the zero. After that, rotate the spindle again and check run out. And repeat this adjusting process as long as you reach 0.01. If you are lucky, if you have good feeling in your hands, you make it by two or three times. But in the beginning or if you are, let me say, unlucky, it can also take 10 times to adjust. Um, and this is usual. Um, but after a, a few times you learn and, and it will be easy and simple. Last but not least, we have some experience issues. So, for example, your run out, it gets lost from time to time. So, you are wondering why is my 3D tester losing run out? This is, for example, also it gets lost after tool changes or after clamping the 3D tester into the machine and reclamping or something like that. So our experience shows if something happens like this, check if the probe tip is securely fastened. This is the first and important thing. Second, check if all four screws are securely tightened. Because the four screws keep the position of the adjustment. If all this does not help, It can be that the center screw may be affected by tension. So that means if you, yeah, if you adjust it several times and a very long movement or very big movement, so you, you can imagine the center screw gets tension in any direction, moving, moving back, moving, moving back. So it can affect that the center screw gets tension. So with the tension and then the 3D tester gets a shock, the tension 
effects maybe the runout. That can happen after several adjustments and big movements. So what to do is only to, uh, to, to take away the tension of the screw. How to do that? To release the tension, at first adjust runout of the 3D tester. Then take off the 3D tester of your, um, of your collet chuck and then open the center screw, just open it and then the tension is released. After opening, close the center screw and again check run out and if needed adjust run out. And this will help you because when the tension is released, um, the tension will not affect the shank. That's all. Very simple. Thank you very much for your kind attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you very much.